This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 172 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Eco Gold, high performance products for the ultimate in comfort and protection for your horse. Enjoy today's tip. Hello, everyone. Glenn the Geek from Lexington, Kentucky, back with you, and you're listening to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today we have back with us from the eventing radio show, co-hosting over there on occasion, Ashley Adams. She's the assistant trainer to Bonnie Mosser out of Point Above Farm. And she uh, had a very successful career as a young rider, and she competes at the four-star level in 2009 and is looking forward to continued success with her thoroughbred gelding vaunted. She's available for lessons, clinics, and training, and to compete your horse, and is actively seeking owners and sponsors to expand her business. And she, as I said, is an, uh, one of the co-hosts on the Eventing Radio Show, which can be found on eventingradio.com. And we'll be right back with Ashley and Chris Stafford after we speak about our friends at Eco Gold, speaking about people who understand sport horses and eventers and, and dressage riders, and really anybody who is competitive in the horse world. Eco Gold has the high-performance saddle pads and horse boots that the professionals love. They are non-slip, 100% breathable, and the ultimate in comfort and protection for your horse. Made with high-tech materials and state-of-the-art design, Eco Gold's innovative products are the choice of top riders like Philip Dutton, McLean Ward, Ashley Holzer, Karen O'Connor, Boyd Martin, and Jessica Phoenix. For more information about the fa- this fantastic line of products, visit ecogold.ca. And we're coming now to your tip of the week, Ashley. And you've got a great idea to remind riders about communication and the tools that uh, are available to you as riders. So tell us what you, what's on your mind. Well, I was thinking this week um, that I would mention something um, just as a reminder, because I fall victim to this all the time. You, um, In your packets, uh, the show organization secretaries, they put an uh, event evaluation form in there. And I am I oftentimes am victim of not filling it out. Um, and then, you know, make comments among the barn and the you know, with the other riders and stuff, there are questions about certain you know, about how the course road or something like that. And with Southern Pines being um a new course designer and from what it sounds like a you know, a significantly different track, um and, you know, had a few different questions and that kind of thing on it this past weekend. Um, it's really good for I think for the for the riders of the sport to give feedback about that course and what they thought or um, communicate with the rider reps that are um, on the grounds and you know just share some ideas and and thoughts and that kind of thing with you know with everybody talking about safety and that kind of thing really you know no one knows better about the courses and the safety and and the questions that are asked than the riders. So, um, you know, after you have a go of, you know, on a Saturday afternoon, you know, just go and, you know, fill out your event evaluation form or talk to a rider rep or, you know, even say something to an official about, you know, kind of what you thought or or that kind of thing. And I think that it definitely helps with um, allowing the lines of communication to be open because, like I said, the you know, the course designers design the course and they have an idea of how it will ride, but a lot of times... You know, sometimes it doesn't always go as planned. So I think that, you know, the riders themselves, having firsthand knowledge um, of the course and, you know, drum court like warms, warm up situations, the whole shebang, um, it's a definitely a great way for the riders to get direct communication with, um, you know, the designers, the officials, the organizers, everyone. So fill out those event evaluation forms and just keep talking, keep talking out loud because eventually, you know, something will, you know, everyone will be able to put all their thoughts into a big pile and it'll come out with you know, hopefully a well, a well seated event and uh, sport. Well, that's a great tip uh, to Im- continue Im- continually improve communications between the organizers and the riders. As you say, you're such an integral part of the sport and your feedback is, is valuable. So that's a great tip. Thank you so much, Ashley. Well, thanks again to Ashley Adams and Chris Stafford over there at the Venting Radio Show. You can find that episode at eventingradio.com, episode number 69, if you want to listen to the whole thing. 
Uh, they had Jimmy Wofford on, who, who talks about safety on this week's show. And, of course, he's a legend in the sport of eventing. And they also had a report from Jenny Brannigan on the Southern Pines Horse Trials. Well, we have an email today. Jeff from Oklahoma writes to us and says, Hey there, you were asking when people listen to the shows. I am a farmer and I listen on my iPhone when I'm on my tractor working the fields. It helps whittle away what can be some mighty boring time. Thanks for the shows. I listen to a number of them, but Horse Tip Daily is my favorite. I save them and listen to a week at a time, even if I don't always understand what they're talking about. Keep it up. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. We really appreciate the email, and you can drop me an email at Glenn. That's G-L-E-N-N at horseradionetwork.com. And let me know when you listen to the show. I was trying to find out from all the different shows this week when people listen. Are you cleaning the barn? Are you working at work when you listen? Or are you uh, doing the dishes? When do you listen? We just want to know. So you can drop me that email at glenn with two ends at horseradionetwork.com. And don't forget to check out all the great shows on the network at horseradionetwork.com. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone.